What is up? Well, <laughs> before I before I begin my normal intro, um, sorry for being gone for so long. What is up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here, and I was thinking about this and thinking about this and thinking about this. What separates all elite wrestling from a from a professional wrestling company that has been around for over 50 years and that has and that has ran off a, a lot of fans month after month, year after year. I'm talking about the WWE. And I, and I think that this is one of the major issues that the WWE has got themselves in. And let me be perfectly clear. The WWE has done this to themselves. Unlike AEW, AEW is, I'm not going to count the established stars. They have, they're making new stars like Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus. Um, besides that, she just escaped. She was wishing an escape, and she did escape. Um, she was stabbed in the back by the evil empire. She was fired by those assholes that they hate. MJF. And that makes her, no matter what she does, MJF is one of the greatest promos of this era. Um, let's see, who else, who else, um, got so many names running through my head, um, I will recognize that yes, he can do good when with one of the best wrestlers. Sammy Guevara. Santana Ortiz. Let's move on to the women. Who, who's AEW made in the in their women's division? They. They've made Nyla. They've made uh, Britt uh, Brit Baker. They've made the difference has never been bigger. Just a presentation. What's getting on TV? Uh, their audience. Like, even the stupid Serena Deeb. Ruby Soho. The audience may be idiots that go along with any of that stuff, but they don't pretend like the audience is fine. Um... Hikaru Shida. I just got done listing names on the AEW roster that have benefited from being on AEW television and by winning matches and everything like that, promo time and everything like that. Name 
with the exception with the exceptions of Roman Reigns and Becky Lynch name somebody that the WWE has made into a star in five, ten years. Go ahead. I'll wait. You can't think of anyone? That's because the WWE hasn't made any stars. <laughs> I mean, they made Daniel Bryan back at WrestleMania 30 in the Yes Movement. They made Roman Reigns when they finally turned him heel after after five after five long years of them pushing him as a baby face. They've made they made Becky Lynch into a star. But here's the problem. It's not necessarily you can have great talent. And Becky Lynch, Roman Reigns, basically everyone on the WWE roster, NXT, etc. Are great talents. They're they're heck they're hex that they are great hands in the ring. But take a look at this picture. You got Bill Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, John Cena. I can see Dynamite whipping Now, what do all three of these men have in common? 2002. 2002. I want to say Goldberg debuted in 2002. 2002 or 2001, whenever The Rock came back. Um, Goldberg is, 50, is in his 50s. Brock is in his 40s or 50s, I believe. John is in his... I should have really looked up these guys' ages before going any further. Um, but... I did not, and now I'm paying the price. Uh, John, I want to say is, let's say he debuted in his 20s, so by now he would have to be in his early to mid 40s. Okay. So, star, star, star. Ruthless Aggression Era star. Ruthless Aggression Era star. 90 star. 16 time world champion. Multiple time world right. champion. Nobody's gonna fuck this company up but me, pal. <laughs> well, all right. Multiple time world champion. Oh, yeah. I gave up on that a long time ago. I don't know why you give up on 
what I'm trying to say is the WWE is relying too much on the legends, on the Hall of Famers. And yes, while Brock Lesnar is a physical monster, while John Cena is the poster child of the, of the WWE, and while Bill is an absolute beast, no pun intended, to Brock, there's only so much these guys can do. You, it, it's like I, it's like I said at the beginning, you can have great talent, but if they are not utilized to their best, which we all know that they are not utilizing, the WWE isn't utilizing their their potential. And as much as the WWE would like John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, I am, I, I will say this, if the WWE wants a ratings boost, they'll get it from John, they'll get it from Brock, they'll get it from Goldberg, but the, the issue is, is that that ratings, is that that ratings boost, what, let's say it's by... 1,000 people on three separate shows tune in for John Cena, another show, Brock Lesnar, another show, Bill Goldberg. Here's, and I'm just going to say this, and I'm going to leave. So. You'll have a 3,000 fan boost. You'll have a 3,000 boost in the ratings from three separate shows featuring all three, featuring all three men one at a time. But, but what's going to happen after that? I can guarantee you that 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 those three thousand people will not watch the ne the the following week because they don't care. And why should fans care about the WWE? Because the WWE doesn't listen to their fans. And the WWE has a problem. And I think they're too far gone to dig themselves out of it. I'm Hardcore Christopher. Keep it hardcore, everyone.